Hey everyone, I'm Katie and welcome to my channel. We're still in the process of moving and unpacking as you can kind of see from the mess behind me, but I decided to take a break from those vlogs for a bit just to do this review of the Sweat It to Shred It workout program. If you haven't heard of it before, it's an eight week ebook that was created by Sarah's Day, who is a YouTuber and content creator who is one of my favorites. Honestly, I highly recommend you go check out her videos and her Instagram and everything. She's just phenomenal. But I thought that I would try this workout program. I've tried it before, so this isn't my first go at it. I've gotten a couple weeks in and then I always stop. I, I've never gotten all the way to the end, but do just wanna say that this isn't my you know, first impression or anything. So, just to give you a little bit of background on the workout program, there are four different type of exercises that Sarah uses. The first one is called a sweaty shredder, which is a high intensity interval type of workout. Essentially you do one exercise for 30 seconds straight, then you take a 10 second break and then you repeat it. And you do that for a total of six times, six times and you do that for seven different exercises. So it really gets your heart rate up, really gets the blood pumping, gets you sweating. I can attest to that. The next type of workout is called the toning power. So this uses supersets, so it's a little bit more slow and controlled, focused on strength and building muscle. So there are three different supersets. Each one has two exercises. You do the first exercise for a minute, move straight into the second exercise for a minute, take 45 second break and repeat it four times before moving into the next superset. The other two types of workouts don't really have a set structure to them. The first is called a challenge, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a workout that was built to push you and really, you know, get you going and get your heart rate up, really challenge your strength and your ability and everything along those lines. The last type of workout is just an activity. So this can be anything from going for a walk to going for a swim and you can do what's recommended in the ebook or you can do your own thing. This is really the day that's meant to change it up and make you happy. So you should do something you enjoy. For the purpose of this review, I'm going to stick to everything that's actually in the ebook unless I have to make some kind of modification. I'm also planning to split this up every two weeks. So this video is only gonna review the first two weeks and then there will be three other videos to capture the other weeks. The schedule for the program looks like this. So as you can see, the first two weeks you do each type of workout once for a total of four workouts in a week which isn't too bad, honestly. It's really meant to just, you know, get you used to the program, get you used to the exercises and everything, and then you build up as the weeks go on. I think that's all the background information that I wanted to give. So let's just jump right on into the review. Week one, the sweaty shredder. Like I said, I've tried this before. This was an easier workout than I remembered it being. My knees were hurting a little bit, so I had to make a couple minor modifications. And for that, I just did a squat jump squat instead of a straight squat jump. So just kind of giving myself a little more break before using that force to jump up again. And I just did slow mountain climbers instead of doing fast paced ones like I normally would. The next workout was the toning power. For this, I added a mini band to do the hip, hip thrust to get a little bit more resistance and to really focus in on those muscles. And this is the first time in the ebook where the plank in and out exercise makes an appearance. I hate this exercise. It's It just, I really don't like it. But I mean, overall, this was a pretty good workout. The challenge for week one, it was really tough, but it's short. I think this challenge is the 10 minute ab burner, I think. It's like 
insanely difficult, but it's only 10 minutes. So you get it done really quickly and you feel really good about it. The activity for week one was supposed to be like some kind of beach sprint. So you do some exercise, do some sprints, and then you keep going. And I decided to do high knees instead of sprints because I was just doing this in my apartment. And I had originally intended to do this a couple times through, but I got through the workout once and I was just starting to cramp up. I wasn't feeling the best. I didn't take the time to properly warm up and my apartment was pretty cold this day. So I just stopped after one time through. Moving on to week two, the sweaty shredder was tough, but it was good. Murphy enjoyed the traveling jump squats. He joined me for those, so that was pretty fun. The toning power took, I took it slow. This was the day after we had moved to our new apartment. So I had been lifting up a lot of heavy furniture and my muscles were very sore and my whole body was just tired. I debated skipping this workout or pushing it back a day, but ultimately I wanted to stick to the schedule in the ebook. And so I just took it slow, did a lot of stretching afterwards, and I got through it. The challenge for week two <laughs> was pretty tough. You're supposed to do like a neighborhood run. So you're supposed to run one and a half kilometers, do some exercises, run another one and a half kilometers, and do some more exercises. For some reason, I decided to do stair sprints instead of running. I don't know why I chose to do this. It was pretty tough, but I just did six rounds of stair sprints. And yeah, I got through it. <laughs> the activity for week two was just to go on a 30 minute walk. So I do this pretty frequently, like almost every day. I'd say I walk with Murphy for a total of 30 minutes. I didn't do 30 minutes straight because Murphy is on an exercise restriction. So I just kind of split it up throughout the day. And yep, that's the first two weeks. I did take some progress shots from day one and then the end of week two. I really don't expect to see very much progress at this point. Weeks one and two are really supposed to build you up and get you into the routine of doing these workouts and get you comfortable with the different exercises. So I'm honestly fine with seeing no progress and it is definitely going to build up. I already know that. Um, I do also want to mention that Sarah just announced today actually, well, by the time you see this, it'll be a couple days ago or a day ago or whatever, but she just announced that she's having a 50% off sale with her eBooks. So this might be a good time to look into them if you've thought about it before and haven't bought them or if this seems like something that would be good for you. I personally really enjoy them and I've come back to them multiple times. So I feel like it's been worth it for me, but to each their own. And yeah, I will just check in again when I get through weeks three and four. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. That's where I'm going to end off this video. Subscribe if you wanna see more from me, especially if you wanna see the rest of these reviews. Make sure you leave a comment down below if you've done any of these workout programs before or your thoughts, your opinions. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.